Folks, in this video today, we're going to be talking about Graham Barton and why I feel like he is 100% going to be the Buccaneers starting center this upcoming season. Now, this is a quote from Todd Bowles on April 26th, 2024, on the impact that the addition of a player like Barton will have on the Buccaneers. Todd Bowles said this, I think it beefs us up on the inside. We haven't had bulk there since Ali Marpet left, obviously, and Ryan Jensen left, and Alex Kappa left. First off, eh, I don't know if that is that a knock on guys like Cody Mock, Robert Hainsey, uh, Aaron Stinney, and Nick Leverett. I, I don't know. I mean, that's that's not their style, though, right? Is to be big, bruising mauler types of guys. So I don't I don't know if Todd's dissing those guys, but you know, I think that that essentially what he was saying is they don't have big mauler type of of interior alignment. They've had a lot of more athletic, versatile offensive lineman. Let's say that. Maybe I'm being too nice and giving Todd Bowles too much credit. I don't know. But bringing size in there, getting a little bit over 300, 305 pounds, getting a bigger guy, a taller guy with some girth in there, and trying not to let people go up the middle as much, I think it'll help us that way. So again, very interesting quote there from Todd Bowles. Again, I don't know if, it, I don't think it's a diss, but you guys can uh, definitely leave it up to interpretation. Here's a couple of quotes from Graham Barton from April 25th, 2024. On his level of comfortability at the center position, I think part of this whole process has been my positional flexibility. I think center or guard is probably where I'm going to be originally and then kind of see where I best fit and what they need the most and what works best for me. So that is interesting. Uh, you know, Graham Barton saying that he could see himself playing center or guard. You know, either one I think he will be good at. I believe, well, Jason Light came out and said that they view him as a center right now going forward, so it is going to be center, I believe, but I've been working on it all spring. I've been snapping for the last couple of months, and I feel pretty good. I feel confident. I'm ready to get in. I obviously still have a lot of areas to improve in, and I always will, but continuing to chase those improvements and continuing to mature as a football player and growing the game, those are all things I look forward to doing in Tampa Bay. I just can't I just think I can play anywhere and looking forward to helping out with them where I best fit and where I can help best help the team. There you go. Then, when asked on playing with other offensive linemen like Tristan Wirfs, Cody Mock, and Luke Gedeke in that mix. No Robert Hainsey, but obviously I'm just excited to be able to work with them, pick their brains, learn from guys who have done it at a high level for a couple of years now. Uh, da, 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 da. Hopefully I can bring somebody to the table too, being the young guy. I've come... I've, I've got to come in and earn the respect. I'm looking forward to building relationships with them, becoming friends with them, becoming teammates with them. I'm just excited. A lot of great pieces on that offense, and hopefully I can add to that. Finally, when asked on the importance of his athleticism in to his style of play, his athleticism, he believes, uh, Graham Barton believes, is the reason he was talking to the media that day. Helps him get off the ball, helps him get to his landmarks. It's just kind of what I, he's built his game around, and he'll continue to build his ram game around his athletic ability. I've added some strength, added some power, continuing to be more consistent, hitting targets, improving hand placement, feet, all those different types of things. I think those are things I'll always have to work on, especially transitioning from college to the NFL. Those will be, be big points of emphasis to me. I look forward to building on the strength that is my athletic ability. I think it's always important to have an athletic center, right? And when I hear stuff like that, it reminds me a lot of Eagles center Jason Kelsey, who was a freak athlete at the center position and was one of the best centers in the league for like 13 to 14 years. If if Graham Barton can be that for the Bucks, this offensive line is going to be crazy. And I've already talked about options at left guard and and how good I think the Bucks' offensive line can be. But to hear those types of things, to me, it sounds like Graham Barton is all about being a good team player, all about being a good fit and working on his craft to help out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And, of course, they view him at center for... I'm going to disagree with the guy a little bit. I mean, obviously, I think center or guard is probably where I'm going to be originally. You know, I, I the Bucks view him as a center, but I'm not a part of those conversations. So I'm not going to sit here and say, no, you're wrong. He was in those conversations. In fact, he's the subject of those conversations. I'm not. But I think he's ultimately going to be a center, especially since Jason Light said that they view him as a center going forward. But again, Graham Barton is a guy that I'm so, so excited about to see what he can do with the Buccaneers. Because again, if he does end up being that athletic center that you want in the modern day NFL, buddy, look out. You've got a good offensive lineman on your hands and a solid starting center for the next five years minimum. 
right? Just throughout his rookie contract. You hope for 10 years, 15 years, right? But I think he is going to be ready. I think he is going to... You know, man, I don't even want to say that he's going to compete. I just think he will. I, I'm not going to say he's going to be handed the starting job, right? But I think he's going to be given absolutely every opportunity to win that starting job. And I think he will win that starting job, job at center pretty early on. Much like what we saw with Kalaja Kansi along the defensive line last year, I envision the same type of thing with Graham Barton going forward as well. So I'm very excited about this. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about Graham Barton down in the comments section below. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.